and lucky cats. Welcome back to Dream Daddy. That one. Yes. Because that is the latest. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever is bothering her. About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? Mm. No. Okay. Do you need do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster level up and she takes her still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Oh. Okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully this blows over and, and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. In it, I'm teaching her how to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. <coughs> As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream, and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it a bit of plot, I decided that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin? What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... So just... Whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Hmm. Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting has set by now. Ta-da! Dad... It took me a really long time, but because I ran out of frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over, and <laughs> this is beautiful. It's a strawberry. Amanda gives me a big ol' hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve us up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is this whole thing? I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Oh. I guess I should start from the top. So you know how Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R.
Hmm. I guess you're not technically wrong. It's good to have fallbacks like that one. Ah. Anyway, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while. But then I found out Rosie M, that both of the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at, em at, at Mackenzie F's on the same night. They all told me they were busy studying for Calc A B for the Calc A B final. Yikes! I hope you don't mind me eating. Um. So another p important piece of information is uh. God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a cousin now, I know. That's the thing. What? Well, I have no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. So are you. I learned from the worst. Oh. Anyway, so the only person I told about the cross was Emma R. And she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I kept quiet. So I just keep quiet and keep going about my business. I mean, the size. And then one day, I invite everybody out to go get to get nachos at the mall and after not texting me back for like two hours even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds they all say they're busy like simultaneously so I tell them never mind I'll just eat nachos at home right but we were out of chips and I really really wanted nachos totally understandable Aww. so I go to the mall anyway I get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah. All hanging out together and eating nachos without me. What? Aww. It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that no Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. No. Yes. I know, so I storm over there and I'm like, hey! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because of course she does, and Emma R just like glares at me. Grace, Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the. gossipy one? I know! Grace is the one nobody really likes, or I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck. Which I realize is not the most elegant thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed and just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to this shitty day. And I immediately drafted a super long text to the group, chat asking them why they've been so weird and I wrote another one to Emma R asking how long the Noah thing's been going on and sorry I know that's a lot you still following I'm a little confused but I think I understand that's okay you're trying <coughs> so what happens next oh okay get a load of this Emma R says, you know what, let me just read it to you. Emma pulls out her phone and reads word for word an arduously long string of text messages. Can you believe that? I cannot believe it. I care about, I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I am trying my hardest to be supportive. Oh, no. They were dating in secret for, like, months. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend. 
<coughs> and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on red. And then, wait, left me on red? What's that? Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there are red receipts. I don't know what red receipts are, but I'm just gonna nut and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least being kind of reasonable and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. And then, out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, How could you say that about me? And I'm like, Say what about you? And he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. Alright, I think he lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me, half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but Aww. Emma R's been there since mom died. I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs at the remnants of her cake. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everybody just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so deject dejected, I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Oh. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sordid tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. I know, it's pretty dumb. It's not dumb. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. When you get older, you start realizing the sort of people you want to associate yourself. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? It makes a, it takes a whole lot of work to find and maintain mo meaningful relationships. It took me a long time to figure that out myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. If the other person isn't putting the effort to, in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not beholden to being their friend. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours, because you're amazing. And if they can't see that, well, it, that's their problem. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat the whole that whole cake? Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. Amanda gets up and goes to her room. Before she closes her door, she turns around. Hey, Pops? Yes? <laughs> Thank you. You are always welcome. Thank you. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. I love you too, Dad.
Welcome. You've got dads. Um, Robert, duh. I only have one more date left. You know what they say about third dates? This... They can get pretty serious. I'm sure. I will commit. I'm probably gonna get a C again. I'll do better next time, I promise. I haven't heard from Robert in a while. I guess that's the good thing, but... I can't help but kind of miss him. I'm about to go to sleep one night when I hear a knock on the door. Hello? Mm. Hey. I look behind me to make sure Amanda's not around. What do you want? Hey. I think you know. I can't do this anymore, Robert! I need your love! But I really want you to... I really want you... Mm. Yeah, okay. You have persuaded me with your rugged handsomeness. I hate you, but I love you. Give me five minutes. Robert winks at, we at me. I switch some mouthwash, throw on some generous, throw on a generous amount of deodorant, and put on some chapstick. I know he's just going to treat me like garbage, but you know what? The sex is really, really good. So, I think I'm okay with that. Robert and I go back to his place. And he kicks me out first thing in the morning. Not sure why I expected anything different. I walk home with a heavy heart, I climb back into my own bed, feeling more lonely than I have in a long time. Let me love you! See? Oh, I got a D. Don't call me. Oof. Maybe I should have told him I can't do this anymore. That's what I get for told. That's what I get for wanting him so badly. <laughs> Whew, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, guy, gotta, gotta act natural. Be cool, James. Be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Mm. Something fishy? Rats. You ask too many questions. Who do you think you are, my daughter? For literally my entire life? Yes. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Dad. Yeah, I can tell. You're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear... <coughs> would you care to join me in the kitchen? Huh. Father, it would be fill my heart with glee. Ooh, I can load. Mm. Load Robert Date 3. That one. Hello. Ah. Oh. I'm not doing this anymore, Robert. Robert, no, I don't have to deal with. I don't have time to deal with whatever this is. All right. You clearly have zero respect for me or yourself. Go home. Hmm. Fine. There are plenty of other dads in this neighborhood. See ya. Robert wanders off. Well, I guess that's that. Oh, yeah. Still got a D? Oh. Oh, that's tart. Oh, that's for all the... Okay. 
So, I fail him no matter what because I'm not cool enough. Yep. Hmm. You ask too many questions. Aww. I lean Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal out about it, but... Aw, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaws yeah. jaw drops. Aw, yeah. I figure you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. This is all 19 seasons. And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts features on, featured on the show. <laughs> Dad, I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? <laughs> totally. Hey, follow Amanda to the back door. <laughs> what? You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten my that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Yeah. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customi customizable, down to the type of mac. And there's ice, an ice cream cake. The good kind with the crunchies in the middle. All right. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds to make sh and make sure everybody, everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Yes. James! Brian, you made it! Uh. Don't one-up me! I will smack you! Ha! <laughs> I don't pass up on good mac. What do you think of the party? Uh. It's not bad. Just not bad. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him beat you. Don't let him beat you! Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? This is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. You're very welcome, child. Tiny child who knows how to play, pay a compliment. Brian and I look guys. This isn't over. Hey, bro. Bro! Oh. This is a real rager. Talk about our older age into consideration. Taking. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Hey. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. Me too, dude. Briar and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Hi, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all that ice cream cake. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? Rare ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. Oh, boy. I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang soon, yeah? Dude. Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for me. Looks like you settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Hopefully we will see you more at see you at more church events. We got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Sure thing, Joseph. 
And maybe if you do, aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Oh, do you have a little man crush on me? Hmm? Sure, Joseph. That'd be great. Well, see you later. Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Hey. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, James. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going into her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Amanda walks by and pretends not to see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're not I know you're gonna do great things at art school. Haha, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me! You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no live longer give you a detention. Yeah, I'm gonna break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Nope. Oh. And I'll have you know that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place, so she'll fit into college just fine. Hey, Robert. Glad you could make it. Either love me or you could get out of my face. Robert takes a sip of his drink. Why is he being so cold to me? Everything okay? Sure. Why won't you talk to me? I thought we had something. Huh? Come on, James. You know what this was. I... <clears throat> you were an object to me the same way I thought I was an object to you. I figured we were on the same page here. At least from how you were acting. <sighs> but... I don't want to be in this if there are feelings involved. I got too much to deal with as it is. I'll catch you around. Hey. Come back and love me, you prick! Ugh. Why did I love him? Hey, man. Matt! Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of grateful banana bread ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. Oh. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This ice bo box cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. Thanks for coming by. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's there's been times in my life where you were my only friend. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you. But I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this. And I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry. Don't cry. I swear to God, James, if you cry again. You're the best, Dad. I love you. And I'm crying. Anyway, that was enough emotional... That was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time! Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find... A framed picture of me and Amanda. It's... Us. Kind of shocking. All of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? 
I figured we needed at least one of one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. <laughs> Always do. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break. Am I right? Aww. Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Amanda and I wave to bye to the party goers as they leave. We sit together and watch the sun slowly dip below the horizon. I'm glad you made some friends. Yeah. Hm. I know that's maybe not what you were looking for, but these people care about you. I love you, Dad. We'll always have each other. You're right. It's going to be hard at first, but this is the next chapter in our story. And I would be nervous about it, but I know that you're always going to be looking out for me the same way I'll always be looking out for you. Yeah. Team Ryan? Team Ryan. Ah, That was cute. And credits. Okay. <gasps> yes! No wonder why I liked him. I mean, what? <clears throat> but that does explain a lot. was a cute game, but I will do a quick play of Robert, see if I could get a better ending. New game, please. Bye. 
Okay. Oh, the head is fine. And, yep. and take care of the brow. Mouth is fine. Close. Yeah, I'm gonna wear and close this time. Name that dad. Uh. And then fast forward like there's no tomorrow. Since I often watch Game Grumps, I think my brain registered. This is a familiar voice. Thus, I became attached to it. Impart upon me your wisdom, great dog. Do you have tomorrow's lottery's number? Lottery number. Bork. Got it. Oh. It's a new technique. Ah, yes. I gotta do a Pokemon battle. Oof. Oof, I got 15 HP. Spelling B photo. Damn it. I know one of those give you HP back. But I forgot which one is the thing. Fast forward. Chai, please. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. He didn't like grateful banana bread last time, so I'm gonna go with banana bread Kennedy's. Yes. Hey, hey, oh, hey. He's so into me. I need a nap. Oh. 
pro. My t pants in this case are really good. I'm going clubbing! No, I'm not. I will go watch the game, though. You know, the unspecified sport game that is on at the current time. <laughs> yeah. But my dog apparently did not want to say hi. Hey. hey. Sure. I almost reluctantly signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. He all jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. I suppose I gotta keep you company now. Hey. So, what do you want to know? What's your deal? Mm. Me? I'm a ghost, Nick. I haunt the haunted, the hollowed halls of Jim and Kim's, waiting for my beloved to return from sea. Really? No. Homegirl just loves a drink. So what else can you tell me about this part of town? Hey. It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want an idyllic little life with the white picket fence, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Hey. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy. Uh, maybe some other time? Suit yourself, sailor. Cool. Hi. I know. Shots. Um, don't compliment his hand tattoo. He did not like that last time. Um, save. Okay. Compliment your rugged looks. Your face is good. Yes. Thanks? Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Okay, save again. My daughter? Not like forever. I... Okay. Not... That one. Running from my problems. I will earn your love if it's the last thing I do. Lay it on smooth. Safe, please. Um, lay it on smooth. Okay. Load. Uh -oh. Whoops. Too fast. Too many clicks. Smile and nod. Nope. Load. Nope, not that one. That one. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Well then, I'd like to lay it on smooth, please. Um, save. 
Yes. No, it's cool. I can't tell if that was good or not. I mean, hopefully that was good. Go to the gym. Because why not? Gotta say posse, dude. Oh, hey. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> That one was really good. Just gotta uh, speed through uh, oh, literally nice. everything. We just moved. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, the panda. Check on the bacon. Check on the bacon. <laughs> Always check on your bacon. Oh. There's food. Mm. I'm excited. Mary. Hello, Robert and Brian. Robert, don't leave me alone with Brian. Please, for the love of God. Burger time. <laughs> and the terrible, yeah. terrible dad puns. I mean, I got a burger. Work on some stuff. Dad. I was scared. Hey. Oh. I'm sorry. Two. My survival skills have trained me for this day. Strong dad arms. I'm looking at you, Robert. Mm. A good papa. Sure. My ideal dirt arson. A cool knife. <laughs> Potential ends of the world. <laughs> Easy for you to say, Manda. Router, please. Watch cat videos on the internet. Duh. 
History Channel, please. Ooh, naked and afraid. Catching the deadliest ancient aliens is on. I'm so cold. I'm so scared. At this rate, I don't think we're gonna catch these aliens by day 50. I'm having trouble following this. Ancient astronaut theorists predict that being naked makes you ten times more likely to find ancient aliens. Some suggest that aliens are fascinated with the human physique. Most notably, the butt. Okay, I'm back in. I lose several hours to whatever the hell that was. Sign, I get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. Time for lunch. Make a Sammy. Yeah, I'm fine. Knock yourself out, kiddo. Are you sure? What does this mean? What are you doing? What am I doing? You're just chilling. I'm just chilling. And type back just chilling. Amanda deletes the G and hits send. It'll make you look cooler. A couple of moments pass by, another message pops up. Wanna grab a drink? Hey, that means he wants to hang out! I know what that means, Amanda. But it's kinda late. <laughs> Come on, Pops, live a little! I am living. With ice cream. And traumatized toddlers. Huh. Well, it's your life, but I think you'd have a lot of fun tonight. You are trying to get to know the neighbors better, aren't you? Ugh, fine. Well, don't wait up for me. I never do. I throw on a nice jacket and run out the door. It's only a short walk to Jim and Kim's, and it's a beautiful night. Yes, I'm doing a lot better la than last time. I walk into the bar and see the unusual crowd of barflies drinking beer and watching sports. I spot Robert at the back of the bar and wave hi as I walk over. Hey man, how's it going? Hey buddy. Hey. Ahoy there, Skipper. Robert and Mary are here. Uh oh. Uh. I brought Mary along. Figured we needed a drinking buddy. Aw oh, man. I was excited to get to know Robert a little better. Now I have to deal with this weird married lady making passes at me. Uh. Don't look so scared, kiddo. We're just having a drink. Hey. Yeah, speaking of which, I think it's time for the first round. What are you having? Ah. Whiskey. Straight up. Shoot. He did not like that. Ah. Mm. Save, please. Beer? Okay. Something tropical. He hated that. Uh, whiskey. And that after my own heart, huh? Robert orders three shots of whiskey and passes them between us. Well, this wasn't how I expected my night to be going. Hey. Here's to bad decisions and relaxed moral values, fellas. What have I gotten myself into? Hopefully not a menage a trois. Did you like my French? I tried. We all knock back the shots. I almost choke on the whiskey as it burns down my throat. Holy hell, that was the kick. I look over I look over at Robert and Mary, who seem like old pros at this. Robert grabs his jacket and throws it on. Uh. Let's get marching. What? Uh. I just got here. 
The night's young, chief. Come on, we're bar hopping. Oh, all right. I didn't know there was more than one bar here. We leave the bar and start walking down the street. I still don't know this area of town very well, so I just follow Robert. So where are we headed? I wish I were... I, I wish I were drink. Uh, I, the dad puns. They're too real. I wish I were drinking. It's an Irish pub. Good pun. Is the whiskey to my heart? A, a good pun is the whiskey to my heart. I hate you. Puns are the lowest form of humor, Nick. Try harder. Ouch. Am I going to be the butt of the joke all night? Jesus, Mary, put your fangs away for a second. I mean... That was... I did make a pretty good pun. We walk into the Irish I were drinking... The bar is pretty much the same as Jim and Kim's, except for old-timey Irish memorabilia on the wall. Next round, what are you having? Whiskey hasn't <laughs> failed me yet. Let's do it. Robert orders three more glasses of whiskey, and we post up a garnish in a garnish green booth. Mary slides in and slides up next to Robert, which makes me breathe a sigh, breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> Let's sip this one, why don't we? Ah. Suit yourself. Mary immediately downs her shot in one gulp and burps loudly. Ah. That'll put hair on your chest. You are truly the paragon of grace and beauty. Hmm. Mary grabs my drink and sips on it. Ah. Hey. Ah. Nick, be a dear and get us another round, will ya? Hmm. I don't know how to process this evening at all. I get up and order another round of drinks from the bartender. As I head back, I see Mary and Robert having a lively conversation. Robert wars with laughter. I don't think I've ever seen the guy smile, let alone laugh. I take a seat across the booth from them and pass out the drinks. So Edith's kids snuck some pot brownies onto the table at the last bake sale, right? And I spot that little hemp sweatshirted gremlin in the act. So I go up to Edith with the baggie and I'm about to tell her when all of a sudden she just freaks out at me. You're running, you're ruining the bake sale, she says. I should have been PTA president. Your roots are bad and blah, blah, blah. So what'd you do? I told her to have a brownie and that everything was going to be fine. <laughs> they both erupt in laughter I politely follow along with the hey. story She ate three <laughs> oh, yeah. More laughter Okay that was pretty uh -huh. funny She called the cops and told them That time had stopped Ugh. Mary looks directly at me Do you smoke weed? What? Hey. You know the devil's lettuce I, uh? <laughs> I have two big fat blunts in my purse right now. Want to blaze? Uh. What? No. I can't believe you would. I don't even know how you. This is pre uh, preposterous. Ooh, he did not like that. Load. I am a law-abiding citizen. <coughs> Hang on, I gotta adjust my ear boobs. Weed is legal in Massachusetts. Then I am a super law-abiding citizen. Robert giggles helplessly. I'm just kidding, cowboy. Mm. Lay off the kid, Mary. He might not be used to your brand of humor. Hey. Fine, fine. Hey. 
we sit around and sip our drinks, people watching and cracking jokes. After a little bit of time, I begin to warm up to Mary. Her jokes become much funnier and much less scary. But it seems like she's not going anywhere anytime soon. I just wanted some alone time with Robert. I wonder if I can get her to leave somehow. Isn't Joseph wondering where you are? Whoa, buddy. Bringing the sanctity of marriage into this. I, uh... No, no, it's fine. You dig into my private life. But I'm sure you think it's your business. Ooh. Lots of eligible bachelors. You know, I was hoping for a quiet evening with my friends. No drama, no unwanted advances, just friendship. But no, you gotta call me out like that. Mary, I... No, no, it's fine. Oof. Could you get the next turn? You trying to ditch me, pal? I... No. Because if you're trying to ditch me, you can just tell me to scram. I just... No, no, it's fine. Nick wants alone time with his new best buddy, Robert. Reedy loud and clear. The wingman breaks formation to pursue their prey. Hey. Now, if you fellas will excuse me, Mary needs to sink her teeth into a helpless boy. Go with God. Nice seeing you. Give it a rest, buddy. Ugh. Deuces, nerds. Mary gets up and saunters over to a younger looking guy at the bar. Oh. She grows on you. Does she though? I feel like she kind of delights in making men suffer. Oh. Well, she does. But what about her and Joseph? Mm. What about him? You know, they're married. And she definitely tried to get in my pants the other night. And I gestured to her across the bar. And she's making goo goo eyes at the young guy from before from before. He looks like he's being held hostage. Hey. Well, that's just a thing she does. She's harmless. Tell that to the boy she's hanging off of. Poor kid looks like he's seen war. <laughs> Robert lets out a hearty laugh. Hey, I got him to laugh! Huh. Aw, oh, man. You know I picked you for one of those straight-laced types. Oh, don't worry. I got pretty wild back in my day. Mm -hmm. Still got a little wild in you? I have a child to care for. There's so much wild in me. I get so wild I've got uh, a whole safari in here. Just really wild all the time. Thank you, saves. You know it. Robert orders a couple more rounds of shots. I gulp. What am I getting myself mm. into? Think you, can, think you can go shot for shot? There's only way, one way to look cool here. I grab the shot closest to me and down it. Robert looks impressed. He takes his shot and knocks it, mm. knocks it back. That's one. So, what do I even talk about? He's so cool and he probably hates small talk. Uh, so, how are things? Uh. I hate small talk. Okay. Uh. Too many people. And this isn't necessarily you. And this isn't necessarily you. But too many people think that they have to fill the dead air with noise. Personally, I think they're afraid of silence. Or they're afraid of what the other person is going to think of the silence. Hey. But if you want some unsolicited 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 advice just learn to be comfortable with silence mm. nothing wrong with two people sitting in silence and drinking whiskey oh alright Robert and I sit in silence and drink whiskey I take it in the rest of the bar. Patrons laughing, playing darts, spilling beer. Mary giving the hard sell to that young man. 
the young man pretending he got a phone call from one of his friends. Huh, maybe silence is nice sometimes. So, you ever kill a man? I choke on my drink. Excuse me? Mm. You know, watch the life drain from someone's eyes. It's not just their life, you know. It's their hopes and dreams draining away. Every moment and every experience they've ever had. Gone. Uh, no. I... Great, me neither. Okay, I will stop here. And continue this good Robert walk. Good Robert run next time. And I will see you in the next episode. Stay lucky.